With the indoor season ramping up in February, the men's 60 meter dash races in Boston and New York City will be super exciting, featuring Noah Lyles versus Trayvon Bramell in Boston, as well as Lyles versus Christian Coleman in New York. But also in that Milrose Games race will be one of the best 60 meter dash runners in history, who has kind of flown under the radar just a bit, Ronnie Baker. Now, Ronnie Baker has made a name for himself as one of the top sprinters in the world over the past couple years. And if previous years are any indication of what he's capable of, I wouldn't be surprised to see him win some of the big races during this 2023 indoor season. Baker attended Texas Christian University and was a two-time NCAA indoor champion at 60 meters in 2015 and 2016. His 2016 winning time of 6.47 seconds was at the time the third fastest performance in NCAA history and a top 20 all-time 60 meter race. The following year, Baker went on a tear, winning three out of the four indoor 60 meter dash races, including the 2017 USA Indoor Championship title in a personal best of 6.45 seconds, making him the sixth fastest ever in the event. And that was just the second time in his career that he had ever gone under 6.50 seconds. But his big breakout would really be in 2018. During the 2018 indoor season, Baker won the 60 meter dash at the Milrose Games in 6.48 seconds, then went to the USA Indoor Championships where between three rounds, he ran 6.47, 6.45, and 6.40 seconds in the final. Remember that 6.45 second performance from 2017 being his second time ever running under 6.50 seconds? Well, now he had done it four times in the same year and three times at a single meet. And that 6.40 second personal best now made him the third fastest performer in history, finishing just behind Coleman's world record of 6.34 seconds in that same race. Baker went on to the 2018 World Indoor Championships and won a bronze medal in 6.44 seconds. And with that, this indoor season really solidified Baker as easily one of the greatest sprinters in 60 meter dash history. After injury took him out of the 2019 season, he returned in 2020 and again went on a tear. Now, we know that most things were canceled in 2020, but before the world went into lockdown in March, Baker took full advantage of that indoor season. Baker went on an undefeated streak, winning seven out of seven races, heats and finals, including the Milrose Games, Muller Grand Prix, leaving in Madrid World Indoor Tours, and his season's best of 6.44 seconds, run on two occasions throughout that year, were some of the fastest times in history. And it really cemented him, once again, as one of the best in the world. As noted, the world went into lockdown in March of 2020, so the World Indoor Championships were canceled that year preventing Baker from winning another major medal. A light indoor season in 2021 saw him go on to make the Olympic 100 meter final in Tokyo later that summer. And though he had a full indoor season in 2022, he was dealing with a few setbacks, which really prevented him from performing to the best of his abilities. But now here we are in 2023. Baker is already on the start list for the Milrose Games in New York City. And it's very likely we'll see him run a few more 60 meter dash races this year. His personal best of 6.40 seconds, along with 11 other sub 6.5 performances in his career, really prove that he is not to be slept on. If we're being completely honest, Baker could come out of nowhere and spoil the entire party indoors, taking down guys like Coleman, Bromel, and a couple others. Not saying that it will happen, but just don't be surprised if it actually does. But with his sights set on making teams to both the 2023 World Championships as well as the 2024 Olympics, Baker is on a mission to get back healthy, be competitive, and compete with some of the top guys in the world. And this indoor season will simply be a springboard towards those goals. So let me know what you think about Ronnie Baker. Do you see him making an impact in the 60 meters during the 2023 indoor season? Do you think he can improve on his personal best of 6.40 seconds? Do you maybe even think he could take down some of the top guys like Coleman, Bromel, or some of the others? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back again next time. Thanks for watching.